First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hi, I'm Steve Londo reporting for First Updates Now. I'm here with 1918 NC Gears. Uh, they're going to tell me about their awesome robot today. This is Eli, Jonathan, and Hero, and they're going to talk about their robot. Yeah, so we got uh, our swerve modules. We have it tipped up on the side so you can see them uh, if you go ahead and run them. We've got uh, our drive motors and then our, uh, our actual steering motors. We've got uh, pulleys pulling the whole module, right? And they all are linked up with our, our gyro system. Uh, everything was manufactured in shop, designed by us. We took ideas from a bunch of different places and kind of made an amalgamation of what we thought would be most important, you know, most effective for us. Also, what we've got it tipped up here on its side, you can see our pods, yeah. So anyway, with the, um, the bumps in the rendezvous point, they're really hard on our swerve drive. And so we made these like uh, plastic covers, which we also, also manufactured in shop. Um, we originally had them mounted to the swerve drive, so they'd turn with, this, uh, with the swerve uh, module itself. But if we don't line up exactly perfect with the, uh, with the bump, it would just mess up everything. They'd get broken and such. So we're like, okay, if we mount it to the actual frame, um, unconnected to the the swerve drive themselves, they'll um, it'll work a lot better, and it won't uh, we won't have to replace them as often. All right. So I'm Jonathan, and I'll actually be talking about our shooter here. Um, do you want to run the shooter? So with our shooter, we have five wheels connected to a Neo, and then three small wheels connected to our mini sims. Now the Neo and the mini sims are both tethered together through code and they actually run together. Now in front here we have a free shooting wheel that the shooting wheels up here they spin together and they get actually full speed and then when we're ready to shoot and we're lined up properly we actuate this wheel up here that then fires it through the intake so that no matter what we are always getting the full potential of our shot and the full speed so we don't have as much play through first shots and then second shots so we don't see as much of a decrease or increase in the shot speed or accuracy um, back here we actually have our hood you want to run our hood so as you see here our hood is actually er, connected to a cylinder we have two set hood positions. We have a low shot for when we're all the way up against the wall. And then when we're in the initiation line, as Eli will show you, initiation line, our cylinder actually uh, extracts and we, our hood position rises so that we have a more better arc for the initiation line shot. And if, I don't know if you hear it, but when he hits the button, both of the wheels spin as the hood increases. So that is a very good programming technique so that we don't have to do as many buttons as once. So it's a lot more efficient and we don't have as much delays. So I'm gonna turn it to Hero for the intake. Hi, I'm Hero and um, for our intake, we have it so that it moves down with us. As you can see, it actually has three positions. So if you would put it at the middle position, please. That's the top position. It actually has three positions so that we have starting configuration, which is within our bumpers, and then down to pick up, and then in the middle so that we aren't getting hit. So our intake has two different rollers that are hooked together via a belt. The power cell gets pulled in with this bottom roller, it hits the free roller and the bungee that's here, and the, to get pulled up to the top roller, which then goes into our hopper to be held. Uh, so we've got our three-stage elevator. It took a, a while to get it on. Actually, do you want to run that? Um, anyway, it's all done by a, a pulley system tensioning. We've got two motors on it um, running opposite directions, connected by a gear for extra strength so we don't, you know, so we can lift our whole robot. Uh, it's a really small kind of a system, but it's very effective. Uh, I think I said it's three stages, three-stage elevator. We've got a um, gas... Uh, a gas compression cylinder in here to keep it tense like this will flex down it's in here it has like a, a couple inches i think like five inches of you know up and down so when we lift all the way up it still stays tensioned and when we go um, back down it pulls it into compression and the wires stay compressed this wire we use is really good 
uh, once we tension it, it won't tension anymore. We got to run it a couple times, tension it a couple times, but after that, it's you know it's going to stay tensioned the rest of the season. Um, let's see. The hook, yeah, we got our, our hook up here, right? It's just a really simple hook, but we added um, surgical tubing onto it so we don't slide. Because that was a problem we were having when we weren't perfectly balanced, we would just slide all the way to the end, and any hope we had of being balanced is, is gone. So we, uh, you know, zip tied some surgical tubing to it, made the arc a little bit bigger, and uh, we haven't slid, I don't think, at all this competition. Um, yeah, I think that's it. All right, thanks guys. This has been NC Gears 1918 out of Fremont, Michigan. I'm Steve Londo reporting for First Updates Now. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.